there is an ancient medicine that has been constantly practiced for thousands of years. And after all these years, it is still very effective and will accept it globally. In 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, some cities in China, more than 91% of confirmed cases have accepted this medicine. And more than 90% of these cases have shown significant improvements from this medicine. What's the medicine that we are talking about? This is a traditional Chinese medicine. Well, today, let's journey through traditional Chinese medicine. In 2015, a Chinese scholar was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine due to her extraordinary contribution, which originated from a traditional Chinese medicine work written in the 3rd century. A patient is experiencing a toothache on the right side, and the practitioner is inserting a needle in his left hand. Another patient is suffering from a thoracic shoulder, which limits the movement of the affected arm. And this time, the practitioner is inserting a needle in the patient's leg. This marvelous practice is the application of a holistic concept in traditional Chinese medicine. Traditional Chinese medicine treats diseases holistically, which not only involves different interventions, but also promote the prevention of recurrence of diseases, which can further assist the healthcare system in improving public health. Traditional Chinese medicine includes Chinese herbal medicine, acupuncture, and masturbation. In Chinese literature, there is a plant which symbolizes a person who keeps their virtue which is not affected by the negative environment around them. This is a lotus, which develops beautiful clean flowers and leaves, despite growing in a very murky pond. The lotus is commonly used in Chinese cuisine. For example, the leaves can be used when cooking rice. The seeds and the roots can be used to cook delicious soups. Interestingly enough, different parts of lotus are also used in Chinese herbal medicine. The leaves are used for someone who is suffering from excess heat, such as sore throat and headache, while the seeds are used to strengthen the digestive function, such as poor appetite. The roots are commonly used to stop bleeding. This illustrates the Chinese herbal medicine aims to use our daily food to promote health. Acupuncture is a unique technique aims to activate the circulation of qi and blood. It is widely applied in many medical conditions, especially conditions that are related to muscles and nerves. It is performed by inserting needles into specific points of the body, then the acupoints. Masturbation is a non-invasive technique that is applied by burning muscle in order to create the heat in the body. This technique can be applied alone or in conjunction with acupuncture in order to promote the health of the public and ensure safe practice. Traditional Chinese medicine, including acupuncture, has been regulated by law in South Africa since 2001. Acupuncture programs are offered by the Department of Complementary Medicine, the Faculty of Health Sciences, University of Johannesburg. Successful graduates can be registered with the Allied Health Professions Council of South Africa as acupuncturists. This enables them to practice acupuncture in South Africa. It is a great honor to have the UJ Confucius Institute involved in these programs. The 
acupuncture center consists of an acupuncture teaching clinic and acupuncture museum. This is the first center of this kind in South Africa, which is located on the first floor of the Homeopathy Health Center at the Donfontein campus. The acupuncture museum is open to the public free of charge. All students and the public are welcome to visit the museum to enjoy a journey of thousands of years traditional Chinese medicine history. Lastly, I wish you the best of Chinese New Year. 祝大家春节愉快。Thank you.